There is a unique energy to Derby Day that you don't really find on any other single race day. It's a complete test of the thoroughbred. It's a test of stamina. It's a mile and a half. It's the first time a lot of those horses that run in the race have ever been asked to go that distance. You need tactical speed to be able to get a position and you need to have a very well balanced horse to handle the, the unusual nature of the course at Epsom. If a horse has the, the temperament, the physique and the soundness to come through a mile and a half here at Epsom at that stage of their career, you know you've got a special horse on your hand. As a flat trainer, the derby is the one race everyone wants to win. Nobody pretends that this is just another race, because it's not. This is the race that turns a horse from being a great racehorse into a figure of racing legend. It is the single biggest sporting day out, the colour and the glamour are legendary. My father trained a horse called Mill Reef, who in 1971 came here as favourite and won the derby. And my brothers, I suppose, most famously won the Oaks um, in his first season training. I wasn't born when Mill Reef won the derby, but uh... His legacy is, is everywhere to be seen. Right from the off, he was always never further back from fifth or sixth. The contours of Epsom make it a challenge for even the most world-class jockeys. They, like the trainers, I think, feel that their career isn't complete unless they've got the derby on their CV. The drive that gets you out of bed in the morning is the competition and the fact that when you get these horses to the race course, that one of them just might turn out to be a, a star and hopefully a competitor in a race like the derby. Anyone who's won the derby would never, ever forget it. You know, you're a derby winning trainer, and it's, um, it's pretty special. But it's wrong.